letting diversity reflect also means that all of us have to come together to support a pillar that connects very much with diversity, and that's a pillar of tolerance. Without tolerance, we cannot have the diversity that we desire. What it means is that for all of us in the industry, for all of us who consume from the industry, we must increase the level of tolerance we have for varying views, varying perspectives, varying opinions, and varying sources. That is what would ensure that the diversity penetrates through that radio signal and affects content and everything else that we do. And so today, as we celebrate Radio Day under the theme of diversity in radio, my call, my charge out to you is that we must be tolerant of other opinions, perspectives, and sources if diversity is to be achieved. And for that reason, I want to speak specifically to a lot of our colleagues who are on the radios currently. There's a growing tendency of many of us who want to force our opinions down the ears and the minds of everybody else. And if it is not our opinion, then everybody else is wrong. But the concept of diversity that we are preaching today means that for those of us who are anchoring these programs, those of us who are in the industry, we must also be tolerant of other views and other perspectives. Indeed, we have to design our platforms so that it encourages diversity of opinion from the marginalized, from those at the top, those at the bottom, the minority view, all must be reflected in the kind of conversations we want to have so that we don't end up being the judges of the discussion, but the consumer at home benefits from the various perspectives and in the end makes up his or her mind. Mm -hmm.